as far as her forgiving the woman, I feel like if there's not a romantic relationship with this woman, you know, because it, 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 did, it didn't sound like they were romantically involved. Well, it sounds like they were toying with it. Yes. Or they were at least, there was a lot of ambiguity about it. Like it might be a possibility. And I think that's why she feels like she was lied to by omission. No, no, no. She absolutely was lied to. What I'm saying is, is if there was no like physical manifestation of this relationship and there obviously there isn't going to be now, um, what's the harm in forgiving her? If you're not having a romantic relationship with her and you can call her out on what she did to you and she apologizes, sure, keep up an internet friendship. Obviously, don't ever get involved with this person romantically, but forgive her. And if if you have something in common with her, sure, why not have a friendship with her? I mean, she she told you, she apologized. And as long as you're not getting involved with her and you have something in common, why not? Yeah, you know, I agree. If she took responsibility for how it turned out and she's owning what happened, um, then, yeah, give it a try. Be friends. I agree with you. The only thing that I would say is check with yourself about your feelings for this person. And if they are not the kind of feelings that want to be friends, that, that is going to be happy, if you're going to continue to carry a torch and hope that the story turns out a different way, then that might put you in a bad position. Yeah. Don't be friends with her in that case. Um, I agree. Yeah. Only a few of you knew each other before you met online, or did you all originally meet we online? All, we all met online. You all originally met online. Yeah. Let's go around and just tell us your name and where you're from. Marilyn Lucas, and I'm from Canada. Hey, I'm Charlie from England. I'm Rachel from England. Uh, Zoe from Scotland. Don't be shy. Jill from Indiana. That was very good. <laughs> Thank you. What about you? I'm Kathy. I'm from New York. Okay. I'm Mel. I'm from Germany. I'm Marilyn and I'm from France. I'm Emma and I'm from England. I'm Angel and I'm from Indiana. Woo! All right. So some of you, this is the first time you're actually meeting in person. Yeah. With each other? And you've known each other for how long? Oh, five days. <laughs> well, okay, physically five days, right? But online, how long have you known each other? Six months. Six months. Six months. I don't know, four. about six months? Yeah. So what was it like for you to meet some of these people face-to-face -face after <laughs> being online with them? Oh, chaotic. Just, just getting together at the airport was very interesting and funny. Did anybody look like you thought they'd look? Did you guys exchange pictures? Nope. Yeah, we knew them yeah, my, through MySpace. Like, we're all on MySpace as well, so we knew what each other looked like. So. Okay. Did anybody lie? <laughs> Who had up the wrong photo? Come on, one of you did. I, I don't have any like, photos of me. A guinea pig. <laughs> I don't, a guinea no pig. one knew yeah. what she looked no, like. No, there's, there's, there's ones of me now. There's ones of me from Bridget's show up now. And you look like a small furry animal with brown spots. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Did anybody show, did you guys meet, what were your first impressions? Like you guys must have had ideas of what you were going to be like, of what each other was going to be like. Did anybody we get surprised? Crank. <laughs> Wait. We all misjudged Crank. <laughs> yeah, tell us. Well, she said they all misjudged Crank. I want to know why. What did you think? What was the difference? Oh, we all thought she was going to be like shy, but I'm like, no, she doesn't <laughs> shut up. So you surprised everybody? <laughs> it sounds like that's the consensus. <laughs> um, yeah, so apparently I surprised everybody. I didn't know that till now, but um, it's very interesting. What are they telling you that you didn't expect to hear? Um, calling me crazy, saying I'm on stuff, but I'm not, I'm not. I'm drug free, I have the bracelet, stop drugs. And they just don't believe me and it, it's sad. <laughs> So what's interesting is getting, you know, when, when we get letters from people and they talk about where they live and how After Ellen is helpful to them because it gives them a community, is that what prompted you guys to, to join the forum or to, to is, that, is, that what, is that what it was? Personally, I have mainly now just gay friends. I'm moving into a house with three lesbians in a few months. Uh -oh. So, yeah, uh -oh. can't wait. <laughs> It should be 
personally, I've mainly gay friends now, but it's nice to go into the forum to talk about After Alan because even though a lot of my friends still don't go on the internet enough, um, but it's nice to meet a community because a lot of the people haven't got a whole lot of gay friends and I didn't quite realise that. I, I'm just fortunate from where I live. I have one bi friend right. and everybody else is straight and they don't know. <laughs> so you don't all gather around and watch the hour together? No, we do. I go on the forum <laughs> for that stuff. It's like I get along on the forum with these people more than I get along with my friends back home really. Um, I, I do have some gay friends at home actually quite a lot but um, I don't really hang on around with them that much. Like, Because there's, like, there's gay clubs in Liverpool but there's, there's not a whole lot. Yeah, all six of them, and most of them are taken over by straight people. Yeah. Like, they always go there because it's better, <laughs> better music and stuff, so. I think with the forum, it was actually the fact that we could go somewhere and all, like, just know that it was okay to just, like, be ourselves and stuff. I'm up in Scotland in the middle of nowhere, and there's nothing. Nothing. But you and your computer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I love it very much, my computer. <laughs> yes. So where do you go to social? I mean, when do you, do you go to do you go to gay bars? Is there anything there for you to like? There's like one or two gay bars, but they're all um, it's completely gay men and they're straight girlfriends. There's no women. Like you're it's no. Okay, <laughs> calling all lesbians in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> calling all les. Is this thing on? Well, uh, at home in Germany, I don't really have any gay friends, and uh, we don't really have a big gay community where I live. So, I just if I want to talk about gay stuff or after Ellen stuff, I just have to go online. There's no other way. So, I have like two gay friends, and they are in Paris, and I'm not. So basically, all gay people are in Paris, and I'm not. <laughs>